Your world is your mirror and it is up to you whether you decide to change that mirror or not. That's what I'm going to be talking to you about today, guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm Natalie. For those of you that are coming back, it's super amazing to have you here. I am a neurotransformation therapy practitioner and a manifestation coach, and I do provide a variety of one-on-one coaching solutions, self-study workshops, and programs where we deep dive into releasing those traumas and those limiting beliefs, all to guide you to opening your heart so you can finally have the life that you love, deserve, and desire. So you can find out more about me and about my coaching solutions um, by clicking the link below the video. I also have a free Facebook group. The link is below this video and a members only channel where you can get extra content from me. Again, the link is below this video. So you can find out all about that and my other social media platforms below the video. (laughs) Okay, let's get into this video. Your world is your mirror and it is your choice whether you choose to change that. What does that mean? What does that mean? So this comes down to the Neville Goddard concept. Everyone is you pushed out or everyone is yourself pushed out. So what you dominantly think, what you dominantly feel, what you dominantly believe gets projected from you and reflected to you and how people show up for you, how people treat you, um, whether you have good finances or not, the type of job that you do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera how people treat you in relationships, romantic relationships, everything. What you dominantly believe about anything is projected from you and reflected to you. That is what it means when we say your world is your mirror and the choice is yours as to whether you want to change that mirror. So, for example, if there are things that are going really well, so you are a multimillionaire already. But that's pretty cool. So you're probably not going to want to change those beliefs that you have about money or about yourself being successful. Say, for example, that you don't have enough money and you're not in a job that you like. Then the question is, what are your beliefs about money and your self-worth when it comes to living the life that you want, having the financial abundance that you want? It's the same with relationships. If you're in a most incredible relationship, then great, keep doing that because your dominant beliefs, your thoughts, your feelings about yourself being in a loving relationship, about the the person that you've attracted into your life, what you think about that is working. That's great. But what if it's not working? What if your dominant beliefs are you're unlovable? What if your dominant beliefs are you um, aren't worthy of being with that person? What if your dominant beliefs are no one's ever going to like you? You're always going to be left on the shelf. You're not somebody that can have a long lasting relationship. If they're your dominant beliefs, then that will be what is reflected to you from what you project from you. So your world is your mirror and the choice is yours as to whether you want to change it. So if I was in your shoes right now watching this video, what I would do is I would press pause on this video. I would get pen and paper. And I would write down the area, the most important area of my life that I'd be looking to change. And I would write down the most important area of my life that I'm really, really happy with. And I would like you to see clearly what are your dominant beliefs about that area that you're really happy with? And what are your dominant beliefs about the area that you're not happy with? So you can see when you think about the area in your reality that you are really happy with, how does that make you feel? Instantly, when you're thinking about something that you're happy about in your life, your your vibration raises. You feel really good about that. When you think about the area of your reality that isn't going the way that you want it to, and you think about the beliefs that you have about that, about yourself, about them, about it, whatever that is, it's going to drop your vibration. It's not going to make you feel very good. So that's just to show you the comparison of when you align the positive beliefs that create the story within that then gets projected out of you and reflected to you in the form of the area of your life that you're really happy with, you feel great. It's exactly what we want to do in all of the other areas of your life. Maybe you don't have an area in your life right now that you feel really comfortable with. That's okay. That's okay. 
you hold the power, you hold the key, you are the secret. You hold the key to releasing that old story of that area, that area, that area, that area, and that area of your reality. You hold the key. And all it takes is understanding what it is that you're dominantly thinking, more often than not, about that area or areas. And we're just going to flip the story. I say that very simply. Now, it's a very simple task to complete because obviously if you want to be in a loving, healthy, committed relationship, you want to be with a specific person, you want your ex back and you have uh, negative beliefs about that being possible, then we're going to flip that to positive beliefs about it being possible. I am lovable. I am worthy beyond belief. I have value just for being me. I am an absolute catch. I am an absolute knockout. I am radiating confidence. I radiate magnetism. I am a goddess. I am a god. You know, I'm a king. I'm a queen. I am worthy beyond belief. I'm incredible. I'm amazing. I'm special. I'm unique. I have a presence that is truly unforgettable. I am that rare diamond. You know, then you can bring in. They can't stop thinking about me. I'm all they've ever wanted. I'm the only one they've ever wanted. They only have eyes for me. They're constantly talking to their friends about me. They can't get enough of me. They can't stop watching me on social media. You know, they um, think about me 24 seven. They wake up in the night thinking about me. They can't stop thinking about me because I am that incredible. I am that amazing. I am one in a million. So you see what you're gonna be doing there. So you're gonna be mixing your self concept with the manifestation. And it really enhances and raises that inner vibration. And I'm sure just hearing that now, you're starting to feel a little bit better if it's a specific person. But it's the same about money. Money is just energy. So you can treat money exactly the same way, like a relationship. So say you don't have enough money right now. Your reality, the world is your mirror and it's your choice as to whether you want to change it or not. But if you would like more money, you now know what your story is about money. So you want to flip the story. I'm a money magnet. Money loves me. Money and I are a match made in heaven. Abundance is all around me. I get to tap into abundance 24 seven. I am rich. I am wealthy. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. I effortlessly pay my bills. I've always got more than enough money. If you want to say I'm a millionaire, if you believe that, if your ego doesn't kick it out. When you start telling the story of what it is that you do want, and you do that more dominantly and you can sink into the feeling. What would it be like if you were with that person right now? What would it be like? What would it feel like if you had that money right now? What would you be doing? And you start to conjure up all these incredible, amazing visuals, um, visuals or feelings about that. Because everyone's interpretation of what they want in a relationship or how they would spend their money is different. And you dominantly stay within that more than falling back into the old beliefs. What will happen is over time, you'll start to feel different. You'll feel a shift within. And when you feel that shift within, that's your sign. Everything's working. Everything's working. When you are dominantly in this place of being that millionaire, of being a money magnet, of being best friends with money, of having so much fun with money, that every time you spend money, you enjoy it so much because you know that money is constantly flowing to you from all different directions or with a loving, healthy, committed relationship with your specific person, with having your ex back. We're in that feeling state of being with them right now, feeling them kissing you, holding your hand, waking up with them, going to sleep with them, doing fun things with them, hearing them say, I love you. When you get into those visual apps, and the story that you're speaking in, that you're going to be speaking in now, aligns to the desired outcome. When you feel that shift within, and then you remain faithful to that without needing it, that mirror will then align to your truth. This will then be the dominant belief, and your world is your mirror will then reflect this to you. It takes practice. And I'm going to say the C word, not that word. <laughs> I hope it made you laugh, made me laugh. 
consistency, consistency, consistency. And anytime you're feeling a little bit attached, where's the money? Where are they? Looking out? No, no, come back to you. Come back to you. What fun things can you do? What can you do right now to lift your vibration? What music can you listen to? Maybe you go to the gym. Maybe you um, have a pamper night, whatever it is. Maybe you go out and buy yourself some flowers, get your nails done, whatever it is, you know, do it. So whenever you're starting to feel a bit attached or like, where is it? Where is it? No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. We want to come back to you, do some nice fun things, lift your vibration. And then we're going to get back onto that story, the new story, the dominant new belief that you're creating within, getting back to that vibration of having what it is that you desire right now within you, remembering that we create from the inside out. This is your truth. That is a reflection of whatever that truth is. We change this. This is the dominant belief that will, by law, align. I really hope that has helped anybody that needed to have that little reminder today. Um, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back very, very soon.